For the past 125 years, the county fair has been a staple in the Wadena community. And this year, the event is bigger than ever. Our Anthony Scott has more. Whether it's carnival rides, games, or the different foods, everyone can find something at the Wadena County Fair's 125th anniversary. So far we've enjoyed the rides that are available here at the Wadena County Fair. Um, also the interaction with the animals. The kids don't have any animals besides a cat. So being able to pet a cow is kind of cool for them. Well, it's a really nice day out and this fair is actually pretty nice. They have a lot of things like this for free or they got a National Guard's got a pretty good setup. The rides are, you know, really good. To celebrate 125 years, the fair provides 125 cupcakes at the start of each day. There are more vendors and events than ever, and Princess Kay of the Milky Way has even made an appearance. It's an honor to be requested. I've really enjoyed getting to travel to different places in Minnesota and sharing the dairy story. This afternoon I stopped by their open class dairy show that's going on. Right now I'm in their family fun center sampling cheese samples. And the best part about the fair is that it was free to enter and even free to come into the petting zoo where they had llamas, alpacas, goats, zebras, all kinds of animals for the family. The petting zoo is free and you can go in there and feed the animals for a quarter. It's pretty cool. Um, right. People are really friendly here, like the workers and stuff, that's for sure. The fair is beautiful now, but it came a long way considering the disaster that took place less than 10 years ago. The grounds here uh, were uh, pretty much destroyed by a tornado in uh, 2010. And uh, so we have been able to rebuild uh, our fairgrounds. Um, have some beautiful facilities. The rebuild has paid off as the fair has become a staple to Wadena County. You know, I think Wadena has a great sense of community and a great sense of family, and it kind of um, incorporates all the outlying communities as well. A lot of people are related and know people, so I think just the amount of people that invest in their time and efforts into this really um, shows through. With and organizers are already thinking about next year. As, as we go, we think of things that maybe could be tweaked a little. Um, we, we had a new event last night. We had a, a lumberjack show. Um, and the grandstand was packed, and so we kind of are thinking about keeping uh, that Thursday night and switching it up with a new event. Reporting from Wadena, Anthony Scott, Lakeland News. The fair is free to attend, and it will be open through Sunday, June 24th. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.